There are several reasons people opt for leasing their vehicles. Most of the time, it boils down to preferences, and in some cases, leasing could actually be a cheaper option than buying a car. For those who want to lease, SUVs are a great option to try. They are functional vehicles that offer utility and style on the road. If you typically bring lots of passengers and cargo, they should work better than sedans. But which of these SUVs are the best to lease? Well, I am here to help you out. Hello, car aficionados. This is Brian from Carland TV. And in this video, I have assembled a list of ideal SUVs to lease. Of course, all SUVs have good potential for lease, but the ones on this list should give you an extra value. Before I start, I would like to ask you the favor of hitting the subscribe and notification bells. They help the channel a lot. Now, let's get back to the video. 2023 Hyundai Kona, the first SUV and Hyundai I will feature here is the 2023 model of Kona, specifically the SE trim. The SE trim is the base model of this SUV, and it comes with magnificent lease deals. Lease deals for this particular subcompact SUV start at $200 per month for two to three years, with a signing fee of $4,000. That's pretty attractive if you ask me. The driving dynamics of Kona made it appealing in the market. It strikes the perfect balance between finesse and style. Though it doesn't have a peppy acceleration, it doesn't mean that the vehicle is boring. Inside, you will get a number of refinements, but keep in mind that its rear seat isn't that spacious, so it's definitely designed for your little passengers. Meanwhile, the front seats are downright comfortable, while its dash has a styling that doesn't souk at all. Aside from its intuitive 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system, the Kona SE also hosts a number of perks, such as its six-speaker stereo, keyless entry, and multiple USB sports. If that's not enough, then be glad that it provides stellar drive assist capabilities, such as pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, and blind spot monitoring. Leasing this car will never be a bad idea. 2023 Kia Seltos The Kia Seltos is another SUV you should seriously consider, regardless of whether you want to buy or lease it. This unit boasts a cavernous interior. Both its first and second rows have spacious legroom and headroom, so passengers will always have a comfortable time riding inside this vehicle. However, I can say that the standard engine of the Kia Seltos isn't that powerful. However, it gives you a fuel economy of 28 miles per gallon and 34 miles per gallon on cities and highways, respectively. These figures are indeed good for their class and value. The 2024 iteration of the Kia Seltos is already out. And interestingly enough, it has some great updates you can bank on. More driver assistance features were integrated into the SUV, including the automatic high beams, pedestrian detection, and forward collision warning. Driving the Kia Seltos is definitely satisfying. It has a good suspension and steering, though I have to say that it isn't the most exciting because of its meager base engine. Should you decide to pick this SUV, Lease rates do vary. One offer I saw has a monthly fee of $280 for three years. Meanwhile, it requires at least $3,000 up front when signing. 2023 Chevrolet Equinox With its versatility and superb driving demeanor, the 2023 Chevrolet Equinox serves as a good option for those who are looking to lease a high-quality SUV. And it's usually offered in desirable deals. For example, its mid-tier LT trim is quite cost-efficient. Some deals I found for this vehicle give it a stellar monthly lease price of just $270 per month for two years. This compact SUV will give you sufficient cabin space for your passengers and cargo. Not only that, it also kicks with a superb diving demeanor, though I can say that it's not the most exciting vehicle to drive. If you are going to opt T for its standard four-cylinder engine, it will deliver up to 175 horsepower. Still, you will get a nice fuel milieg with this SUV. And since I drove this SUV already, I can attest that it has solid steering and responsive shifts. Body rolling isn't an issue when turning, and its suspension system is more than enough to dampen bumps. Of course, this isn't the best compact SUV, but it will give you a performance that won't betray your expectations. 2023 Hyundai Tucson When it comes to SUVs, the Hyundai Tucson is a contender you should never sleep on. 
In a nutshell, this vehicle offers a refined and comfortable construction that offers decent passenger and cargo space. When its rear seats are folded, it should provide you with at least 70 cubic feet of area for your goods. I am quite sure that Tucson isn't as athletic as other SUVs, but it guarantees comfort above anything else. But don't get me wrong though, this one easily dampens bumps thanks to its well-crafted suspension. Furthermore, it's available in different trims, so there are choices that could satisfy your preferences. Its base trim is the SE, and it is an excellent option for lease. Aside from its affordable deals, its standard provisions are simply great. From driver assistance features down to a stylish cabin, the Hyundai Tucson will never disappoint you. 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee the Jeep Grand Cherokee has a satisfying appeal to the market due to its athletic performance. It has a standard V6 engine that generates up to 293 horsepower, and its design allows it to conquer off-road and on-road tracks with superb balance. You can find multiple trims for the Grand Cherokee, and all of them can be leased. But if you want something that fits perfectly your budget and needs, I suggest you take a look at the Laredo trim. This particular trim is the base model for the Grand Cherokee and arrives in a rear-wheel drive. The Laredo trim of the Jeep Grand Cherokee is more than what you can ask for. It is a well-crafted, fully equipped vehicle that combines style and muscle. Inside this SUV is a user-friendly 8.4-inch touchscreen infotainment system, as well as decent finishes for its cabin and upholstery. It also includes adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking as among its intuitive capabilities. I've seen great lease deals for this particular trim of the 2023 Grand Cherokee. Most dealerships have it for 24 months to 39 months, with a monthly fee of $400 to $500 and a signing fee of well around $3,800 or less. 2023 Chevrolet Traverse the 2023 Chevrolet Traverse is an appealing option to lease for a number of reasons. But first, I've seen lease deals for this SUV that offer a rate of $350 per month for three years and with a sign-up of $5,500. That price isn't wallet-busting, especially with the quality this vehicle offers. The SUV is a capable option for hauling families and gear. Essentially, it comes with three rows, allowing you to fit up to eight people. But keep in mind that the third row doesn't have too much legroom, so I suggest that it should be reserved for the little passengers. Interestingly, even if you fold its third row, the vehicle should still offer you up to 57 cubic feet of free space for your cargo. It's not a lousy vehicle either. The standard model for the Traverse is equipped with a V6 engine, sending up to 310 horsepower through its 9-speed automatic transmission. I suggest that you check its LT cloth trim. It's a value-driven model that hosts a number of standard features, such as its front and rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, and intuitive wireless charging. 2023 Kia Sportage Of course, Kia Sportage should never be excluded from this list. I mean, it's one of the most efficient SUVs you can get today. Undeniably, the Kia Sportage leans on the affordable segment, but for others, leasing is still a good idea. Across multiple dealerships, the Sportage is among those units offered in a convenient price tag. For example, the LX trim of Sportage is offered at a little over $3,500 sign-up fee and a monthly rate of $300 or less for three years. With these figures, it is quite evident that the Kia Sportage is designed to be owned by anyone. This trim already arrives with great standard features, such as an ergonomic touchscreen infotainment system and a digital instrument panel. Several driver assist components, such as forward collision and driver attention monitoring, are all present in this compact SUV. I may not recommend the Kia Sportage for those with large families, given that it's a compact SUV. If your numbers are few, then its seating capacity should be enough. And when all the rear seats are folded, it should provide you with at least 74 cubic feet of cargo space. I also have to note that it's not the most exciting SUV to drive, given that it only has 187 horsepower on its base trim, but if you are into the long run, then its fuel economy should appeal to you. EPA estimates suggest that this SUV delivers 25 miles per gallon and 32 miles per gallon on city roads and highways, respectively. 2023 Mazda CX-30 
The 2023 Mazda CX-30 is one of the most popular SUVs in its segment and even in the entire SUV market. You see, this vehicle will give more value for your money, thanks to its sporty driving demeanor and premium interior space. All Mazda CX-30 models also showcase astounding reliability, so these are the vehicles you can trust if you are into the long haul. The 2023 model of the CX-30 has a standard 2.5-liter, four-cylinder engine, allowing it to produce up to 191 horsepower. Meanwhile, it also flaunts an attractive fuel economy. EPA ratings suggest that this one offers 26 miles per gallon and 33 miles per gallon on city roads and highways, respectively. Compared to its 2022 cousins, the 2023 Mazda CX-30 is indeed a more fuel-efficient option. Lease options for the Mazda CX-30 vary from one dealership to another, similar to other SUVs I listed here. The most attractive option I've seen is a three-year term lease with a monthly fee of $280 and sign-up due of about $3,000. If the average market price stays the same, then you can expect Mazda CX-30 offerings within the range I mentioned, and that completes our list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps the channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely.